In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the MarginFi DeFi application on the Solana network so you can lend out your crypto assets, including Solana, stake Solana, stable coins, and earn a yield on those assets, or you can take out loans by using your crypto assets as collateral. And also, MarginFi has not yet dropped a token, and there may be a potential for an airdrop in the future, so by interacting with the protocol, you have a chance to qualify now. So to use this platform, you are going to need to have a Solana wallet, I'm using the Phantom wallet, with some assets in it. And then you can hit on the top right-hand corner of the application and sign in with your wallet. When you do that, the platform automatically recognizes what assets you have and you will be able to use those assets to either earn a yield or to take out a loan. Of course, you can do other things with Margin5, for example, make swaps by routing through the Jupyter Exchange or bridge between different crypto networks like Ethereum and Solana. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna talk about the lending and borrowing protocol. So if you go to the Lend tab in the top left-hand corner, it will automatically show you which assets you have to supply. You'll see that the other buttons are grayed out because I don't have, for example, USDC in this wallet. So I can currently supply Jito staked SOL or just regular SOL tokens. And so let's say, for example, I wanted to supply some staked SOL tokens, I would earn an APY of 0.01%. So obviously not great on that asset right now, but other assets have better yields. So for example, USDC tokens offer a yield of 4.23%, or Solana tokens, just the regular unstaked ones, offer a yield of 5%. So by lending my crypto assets to the protocol, MarginFi is then going to take those assets and then lend them out to other people. And then as a reward for providing my assets to the platform, I get that APY. So let's say that I wanted to supply 0.1 SOL tokens. I would just select how much I want to supply. And this is the amount that I have available in my wallet. I would hit on the supply button and then confirm the transaction in my phantom wallet and each transaction that you confirm is going to cost a tiny amount in network fees it's a fraction of a penny so let's hit confirm there okay so now you can see my wallet amount has decreased by 0.1 and if i go back up to the top it will show my account stats right here so i have lent six dollars and 22 cents worth of sold tokens to the platform and that is going to be earning me a yield of 5% per year. So now that I have lent some sold tokens to the platform, what can I do? Well, if I hit on the borrow tab here, you'll notice that I can withdraw the amount if I want to, and I can do that at any time. I can also actually use the assets that I've deposited as collateral to borrow one of the other assets. So for example, if I wanted to borrow one USDC, by using my Solana tokens as collateral, I could do that by hitting on the borrow button and then confirming the transaction here in my wallet. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've borrowed now one USDC from the platform and you can see that it's automatically updated at the top here showing that I've borrowed $1 and the health of my total collateral value is now down to 80%. And this right here where it says free shows how much collateral I have left to borrow against. So it doesn't let you borrow the full amount, obviously, because if there's price fluctuations, then your position will get liquidated if you don't increase the amount of collateral. And also, of course, if you don't pay back the loan with interest. So let's say I wanted to pay back the $1 that I borrowed. I would go back over to the Lend tab. And now you'll notice the button says repay. So if I hit max, and then click repay, it will pop up in my wallet asking me to confirm that transaction, which I will go ahead and do. And now my collateral value has gone back up and my loan health is back up to 100%. And then if I wanted to withdraw the money that I put into the protocol, I would hit max on the borrow tab and then hit withdraw here. So those are the basics of how you lend and borrow assets using a margin fi. You have to keep an eye on your account. The health factor is important and make sure that your collateral value doesn't go down too low. And of course, when you borrow assets, you do have to pay interest on those loans as well. So even after you borrow, immediately you're gonna owe a tiny fractional amount in excess of the amount that you borrowed 
because there's a tiny amount of interest that's continually streaming over time. And this right here, this column APR, shows you the interest rate per year that you pay to borrow the different assets. So yeah, by lending and borrowing on the Margin5 platform, as well as swapping, bridging, and actually staking, you can directly stake with them using their liquid staking token. By doing those activities, you will increase your chances of potentially qualifying for a future airdrop from Margin5. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful, and I'll see you later.